Anyway, Valorant was fun. Uh, then I dove into Eni's lobby. That's right. Water 7 is over. Uh, it's sad because Water 7 was my favorite arc thus far. Loved the compelling characters. Loved the writing. Oda is uh, the goat. Great stuff there. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of TikToks uh, from my from my like One Piece updates. A lot of like, I guess this was like an opportunity for a lot of One Piece heads who are also leftists to like finally rejoice because uh, Oda's work is pretty leftist overall. And so it, it, it has become like this very weird thing where like a lot of leftists are like, oh, finally, there's like a leftist commentator who watched like One Piece and he's like talking about it in, in political terms or whatever. And half the time I'm like memeing or whatever, but you know, I, my favorite thing now is basically when, when I, when I type, like when I see like a one piece, uh, Oda is communist, you know, like a, like a TikTok like that, where I'm like half memeing people will be like, dog, you're so wrong. You're so fucking wrong. You have no clue what you're talking about. Like one piece is not political. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny that people just watch this kind of content that is like expressly political, like literally against the world government, against an oppressive structure built on the monopolization of violence in the hands of the fucking Navy and the police force. Like Luffy is directly a an A cab motherfucker, just straight up. Maybe, maybe things change, but so far I'm at, I'm at Eni's lobby. Ironically, Eni's lobby is literally the government headquarters. They're doing a fucking prison break. What do you think that means? He did an entire season on how healthcare should never be paywalled, how healthcare should never be gatekept. He did an entire season on, on like, uh, you know, land back movements and shit. And meanwhile, motherfuckers are watching that going, oh, I just like think the characters are cool and the colors are vibey and, uh, you know, and that's fine. And that's fine. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. But like, from what I understand personally, it also feels like Oda's own uh, uh, politics is, is pretty leftist. I mean, you don't just have a Che Guevara uh, uh, photo in your, in your office for no fucking reason. Like you, you went and you got that. You know what I mean? You went and you purchased it. Um, this is from his office. I, I guess uh, here it is. There's a photo of Che. Like that's not even like a, like a regular bullshit one that you can find too. You know what I mean? Like that's not like a, that's not like a t-shirt that you thought like a dude looked good in. Please don't make this anime about pirates uh, fighting the corrupt military political. Yeah, exactly. Which by the way, if you know anything about pirates, uh, obviously <laughs> it is weird, but pirates were a little fucking ANCOM, like real pirates in the real world had like a lot of uh, weird ANCOM attitudes. This is way, this, I mean, even predates the, the political history, but like the formations that pirates engaged in and the structure that pirate ships operated under were usually very uh, uh, democratic. The structure was very democratic. So it does make sense that like Luffy would have a similar attitude as well. And then of course, pirates were also fucking annoying and, and slavers too, like Blackbeard, you know, the biggest betrayal of all time. But you know, pirates are inherently very political. Pirates are an inherently political uh, subject. And you know, One Piece is political. There is of course politics in One Piece, 100%. So I don't know. I don't know why people like, I don't know how people watch that shit and go, dude, you're so stupid like you're so dumb dude you fucking don't understand oda actually is anti-communist look luffy is maybe the most opposite thing from a communist as possible he's the picture child of libertarianism says young money it's got to be sad he reaching a little bit but anyone that think one piece is in political is actually isn't actually watching i mean like i was half joking when i said he made like the coolest uh, band of characters golly law when it when it first started when that arc first started in water seven it was the coolest band of characters which is why i was saying like he's romanticizing the working class like that's crazy but then i realized like even after the reveal the big reveal in galley law it's like government infiltration into working class movements that's directly that is literally that's leftist as anyway regardless 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 so all that stuff's pretty funny um but uh, like i said we're in Annie's lobby now uh beautiful incredible uh they it's right on top of the marinara trench <laughs> yes i said marinara trench on purpose don't fucking correct me and i'm excited i'm excited to see the power structure within uh the government i love how even when our main characters can be selfish and show that it's not all black and white our dreams and desires tend to crush others what the fuck? 